Hey everybody, and welcome to the epilogue of Neo. I am the last Robokai. I am joined by Cool Guy. This is the Queen's Eyes. Oh, buddy. We're going home. We're going home, back to back to the River Timmies. <laughs> River Timmies. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll call it that at that, that, that this time, and crank off everybody who, li uh, who lives in London in a new and interesting way. I'm honestly genuinely surprised I was over in England and not a single person said, dude, you're calling the River Thames wrong, the wrong name. I, call it, I called it the Thames while I was over there, and nobody at any point just went, shut up, you're stupid. They, pro they probably just, uh, just, just heard the accent and was just like, whatever. It had to be that hat, didn't it? This is the, it this is the perfect that... hat to use to flex on the entirety of England. Don't worry about oh, it. My gentle god, like th this is this is actually why uh, why you went uh, you went to Japan. It was basically to figure out that they already had cell phones. You're coming back. You're going to be London's first cell phone tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I I wanted I wanted a really nice reception when I got there. <laughs> oh ho! How's it going, pal? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm I am oh Lord Oda Nobunaga with a brilliant hat. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's just the way it is. Like they're gonna they're gonna be very confused by this run into the future. Ah, so we're we're heading home. Uh, we've 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 killed Edward Kelly, but that ain't the end. There is there is still something more going on here. We know that uh we know that he was working for uh for somebody. Who's uh. Also, also, some uh, somebody from history actually existed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The, uh, the spy master. The spy master of, uh, of Queen Elizabeth I, who has died at this point, which was awfully rude of her, but, you know, we sort of expect these things from her at this point. Like, like... One one of the most one of the most amusing things about spy masters is that uh, is that they were all they were always ever like particularly in European courts like this is they were always uh, they were always at their strongest precisely right after their uh, their liege had died because <laughs> whoever, uh, whoever was, uh, was in the new uh, the new administration had basically two uh, two options one trust the uh, the old uh, the old spy master and ta uh, take the risk that they uh, they were running God only knows what in the background which you will now never figure out. Because they have every advantage over you, or two, do not trust the new spy master and tr uh, try to uh, try to get rid of them, you know, before uh, before they can use one uh, one of those one of those plots against you. Good luck. They've probably got uh, got a thousand a thousand subplots in the ba uh, in the back in the backdrop, <laughs> precisely to make sure that they don't they don't get screwed like that. Yeah, in uh, in Dishonored, we learned we learned the value of a shitty spy master. In this, we've got the value of a uh, a spy master uh, up to his eyeballs uh, in in Amrita. John Yay. D being a very very naughty boy. Yeah, that's right, that's right, knights. I can do that now. Donk. All right, so here's a guy. I have no idea who this actually is um, because. He like you can't I can't get it really get a good look at him. I'm not entirely sure who this who this person is. The 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 dialogue they say makes it sound like they actually took part in the fight against the Spanish Armada, which would kind of suggest like the only the only like particularly famous individual I can think of during that time was uh, Sir Francis Drake, the uh, yeah. the famous privateer who who did who did play a significant role in fighting you know in fighting the the lunacy. Of, uh, of of how great and powerful the Spanish Armada was, but he didn't get locked up in a jail cell. I don't think yeah, he died Drake in jail. Yeah, Drake never ended up in 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 jail. Like he was like he was called Sir Francis Drake, even though he was born uh, born common. For, like like just because he was knighted a after after all of the crazy crap he did uh, he did to to nettle and tear down the uh, the Spanish Armada. Oh, 
have to leave us. <laughs> Unfortunately, this guy isn't really commenting on why he's in he's in jail, which could shed some light on it. You still want to talk? Yeah, it's like uh, I'm just I'm just not sure. Uh, <laughs> See, he even, even talks about having having sailed the seven seas and things like that. Uh, it's just yeah. like. I can't think of like, and obviously there's probably a few other significant people of uh, of the British naval uh, forces of that era. I guess I'm not too familiar with all of them, but it's just like the first one that pops into my head, and it would seem like to me like the first one that would pop into the heads of a Japanese developer as well. Like I don't know. Yeah, and uh, like by Her Majesty's order, that diction could mean a fair bit. Like that doesn't necessarily mean that it, that it has to be. Specifically by Elizabeth's order, um, could it could just be like like this is a random officer that uh, that got a commission. Um, okay, dude, the, that dude's just hanging on to some Emrita. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know, je like like the the way he says it seems uh, like seems to uh, to make me think that uh, that he was talking direct uh, directly with Elizabeth, which again like that would be a very very small group of people. Yeah, I don't know. If anybody else knows exactly who this is, feel free to feel free to leave a comment. Yeah, uh, that'll, like, uh, that'll I'm help stumped. educate anybody who subsequently watches the video. Our, our YouTube comments aren't like quite nearly as awful as everybody else's. So. Yeah, like we 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 actually do a, like we we do an an okay job of trying uh, trying to respond at, at everything, which is made a lot easier by uh, by the fact that uh, that all of all of you lovely people that watch our stuff are are by and large incredibly thoughtful uh, thoughtful folks. And literate, but yeah, and literate, <laughs> very literate. More, more literate than I am. All both of us, both of us appreciate the shit out of it. Oh dear, look at look at all this nostalgia. No, yep, just, just that that big old table. I remember running around that ta uh, table four or five times trying to get an opening on a night. Probably that night. Okay then. Only if he recovered from the injuries you gave him on your way out the first time. Yes. Well, and let just. How slow that dude! Uh, that dude is. After all of our time in Japan, it's just, it's just, it's just sort of like, bro, you're gonna have to be quicker than that. Yeah, I've mastered. I, I, while you were, while you were guarding the tower, I was mastering blade. The blade. And now that the Spanish Armada is at the doorstep, you come to me for help. This is why we fought Derek. Uh, he's not here, obviously. Uh, Thank God. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, that was, that was harrowing enough the, the first time. Chest. Hooray! Hi. Yeah, just just in case in case you want to wear more, you know, London gear, I guess. Yeah, just go go back to Japan and be and be a London boy forever, and everybody looks at you like you're really weird because that's like some of the worst armor in the game. Eat all the beef, dude. Now I want a steak, though. This is the spot where you drop down. This is what the tutorial was like, that you can completely miss, and it's like, Oh, if I drop down, I might be able to not die! But the guy, like, died up there, so who knows what the fuck happened to him. I mean, he, he clearly he clearly just wasn't as hardy as William, right? Like, like he drops he drops fif uh, 15 feet, and, you know, his ankles break, because he's a wussy. And also, his, his, his freaking ankles are actually made of bone, instead of whatever adamantium alloy William well, That's why has Derek wasn't up Wait, the top. Wait, what?! Yeah, Derek! Oh, uh, hell Derek's no! Ghost haunts this place now, uh, and he's still pissed. He's still very pissed about what. Yeah, we're doing. I imagine he is. And he hits like a fucking truck. He hits like okay. several trucks. Uh, so compounding the difficulty happening. of this area is that uh, none of these chairs break. They're very sturdy chairs uh, for a torturer. So you've got to give him credit. He's worked very hard on this. He's done an absolutely uh, incredible job ensuring that. Uh, look how much damage he takes. Hit him he's very hard. I've hit him with all the hardness. Oh god. And yeah, yep, just one shot. Yup, yup, yup! Holy crap. This life has ended. Jeez, man, it's just like, like, you built a really fancy crane, there's no reason you should be able to hit that hard. This is one man who doesn't rest on his laurels. This is one, uh, one man who, uh, who's, just, who's just like, I made a really fancy crane. So now I can pump more iron. <laughs> now like, I have the like, most I powerful don't... crane maker in England. <laughs> My infamy has empowered me. <coughs> I'm like, let me just chug some old time, old school medicine. Oh my Whoa. god. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me with your axe, sir. 
freaking freaking old school medicine actually ends up just, uh, just be like, like oh my god he keeps doing ball, that <laughs> pure ball testosterone this isn't this isn't like uh this isn't like the elixir from uh from the regular game we don't get like piles of it from the storeroom i really gotta stop getting myself hit by that attack yeah this is that like I, I noticed that down in the bottom left that's actual like the medicine that you used in the in the prologue isn't it Yep, there's a max amount for it. It does not go into a storehouse. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck you, Derek. You're dead. Yeah, at least, at least we, <laughs> at least we know we know why he was hitting so hard. Cause that was that that was him pumping uh, pumping iron fueled by hate. So he was definitely like, "Why is the rest of yous?" Was guarding the the Tower of London. Oh, I was was chopping heads, get <laughs> ready to be the biggest executioner. And now Williams at the gates. You turn for me to help, sir. I just really like that meme. Hon honestly, <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm amazed by uh, by your uh, by your your self control that you haven't worked the blockchain into that yet. <laughs> it's just the well, he ain't using the blockchain. He just eats it all. Okay. Look at that! That, that I, re I remember that like the first time I, I saw I saw that uh, that meme I was kind of like rolling my eyes about about it until we got we mm. got to the the entire thing like when you were having premarital sex I was studying the blockchain I I just I fucking fell over laughing and this this was like and uh, this is coming from a blockchain developer like I actually spend a lot I have spent a lot la large part of my life <laughs> figuring out this technology and writing software to utilize it and it's just like oh my god now but like even i i'm just like please can i have that sex because <laughs> it be wasn't great. worth it <laughs> it wasn't worth it no to be to be like, like a little bit more more seriously i do like i while all of the like the individual coins like bitcoin or whatever i don't have a whole lot of faith in that that's like whatever the the technology itself is Incredible, like absolutely incredible. Like super briefly, I promise I won't bore anybody. But like the basic idea here is that when we went from single entry bookkeeping to double entry bookkeeping, that caused the European Renaissance. That set the stage for uh, for the uh, for this kind of game. That's what gave us the Elizabethan area, and that that's what gave us John D. Um, and effectively, what uh, what blockchain technology is is a vision of triple entry bookkeeping, and. The world is now thousands of times more fair, rich, and and open than uh, than it was back in back in this era. So like, unfortunately, we have to deal with Super John D now because he's yeah. been empowered further by the like the, the the extra power level. The camera just tried to leave again. Camera, please. Yeah, like Stop that. we're not done Stay. here. Like like there's there's what there's there's another like like. 10, 15 minutes left in the episode. Like, like um, you're not done. Yeah. <laughs> you're killing us. We still got, we still got to confront John D. You know, and uh, and dis <laughs> disassemble his his proto blockchain. This <laughs> Amrita coin can't be allowed to continue. That's the crazy thing that as a spy master, like like the the ability to like like like, like keep track of all of that stuff in, in such a highly de a detailed and intricate way as as. You know, shit like the blockchain lets you do. He probably would have jizzed, uh, jizzed himself o over over an application like that. He probably would have. Like, I'm not even joking. God, I th thanks for making me think of that, Robokai. I really wanted to think about that today. Freaking. Yeah, well, it's freaking... you're the one who brought it up. I actually specifically avoided mentioning the blockchain part of the meme. You, yeah, you went You went into it. <laughs> Whatever. It's actually interesting to note. John D is the is the man uh, attributed with the term the British Empire. It was his idea to uh, to to turn the expansion of British uh, control into like a giant sort of you know empire. It's like everybody's still sort of you know beholden to the Queen. The whole sun never sets. Yeah, which is interesting because they used to say that about the Spanish, the Spanish Empire before. <laughs> it was the, it was the, you know, the sun never set on. The, it's funny, the sun sets on empires, guys. It just doesn't happen immediately. Yeah, like I mean, sometimes sometimes it ta it takes a couple hundred years. Frequently, it doesn't, but it does happen. It's like it's not something that we should be stressed about. I really, <laughs> I really love that. <laughs> I'm just sort of like poking through things about him. Um, he was like, like John D. John D. Um, was like a hermetic. Um, 
and he's got this glyph, uh, and it looks really funny, um, because it just looks like a sitting angry stick man with one eye. No matter. <laughs> Apparently it has some sort of meaning, I don't know. Angry but, um, stick man with one eye, yeah, I'm sitting here racking meant to, it's meant to express. That, it's meant to express the mystical unity of all creation. Uh, it does sound, that sounds I don't like know. a very hermetic concept. But appara apparently you can't interpret any of his work without the secret oral traditions of that era. So all that all that he has done is lost in that regard. That yeah, that that was that was very, uh, was very much also also some uh, something um in hermetic tradition as well because ba basically they they had they had the they thought that that they were that they were like messing around with the with contacting the fundamental spirit uh, spirit of the universe and the fund fundamental force of creation. So they they worried about what would happen if they if any of that were right and they it got into the wrong hands. You can uh, I mentioned um, Isaac Newton as as a as a hermetic early on in the in the Let's Play, and you can actually see that in the modern day by re uh, by reading his old hermetic notes, which are which are now open. Um, um, I was gonna say open source, but uh, but I actually mean public domain as Praxis P A R. P R A X I S is what I mean to say, and my, like if you read that, it looks like the ramblings of a madman. It's just, it's just like mix the red earth with uh, with the with the, the 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 silver the silver of kings and like like this is it makes absolutely no uh, no sense, and it's just be, uh, because you needed the or uh, the oral traditions of how um, hermetics talked to uh, to each other to understand a damn thing of what he was doing. Fortunately, um, Newton came, uh, came late enough. We do still uh, still have a lot a lot of that of that that encoding, and you can you can then basically go uh, go and reproduce a lot of a lot of the Hermetic experiments that uh, that Isaac Newton was running. None of them are very interesting. I'm gonna save you some time. <laughs> <laughs> do it anyway. It's your homework. I mean, like like, like he's he's ba uh, basically like, basically like measuring out. Heating and heating basic ele uh, elements, and then like trying uh, trying to decant them, and then heating them again, and then decanting them again, and like it, it's it ends up, it ends up reading very much like wait what the fuck? Yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to the uh, the heating decanting room for making mass produced yokai. Oh, okay. he's uh, hey, he's, he's been doing he's been doing it he's been doing it at home as well. Uh, you know, I really appreciate. So let's uh, it. I, let's you, wake you him just... up and fight him. You just look. You just look, uh, look at the at the freaking camera. Like, uh, like, like, just what the hell is this crap? Oh, I know exactly what this crap is. It's the evil naughty, is evil naughtiness of the evil naughty making things. You can actually only do this one God. at a time. And here's the other terrible thing he's been working on. Here's the Edward Kelly room. Oh <laughs> where God! Where he makes all these Edward Kellys. And uh, it's a fight against. It's a fight against three Edward Kellys, and you have to be careful because they can oh. very quickly, uh, oh. they can very quickly do that, and then one at range, one up close. Uh, his his regular attacks cause the uh, the 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 fusion size effect, and then suddenly you can't oh. you can't heal. He's yeah. killing you. Yep. Ow. Oh, shut up, shut you. the you're hell just... up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to laugh at me. I already just killed you like twice, okay? I killed you once there, and I killed you once back in Japan. I can do it. I can do it real quickly next time. So I, I had rather been wondering what, what the hell he was talking about when, when he was he was like, I am the hollow man. Many times I have died. Many times I've born, been born again. This is what he meant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, There's a that sort of an sense. idea in, in alchemy that it is possible to create um, pseudo-humans called homunculus. Mm -hmm. But the idea was always that you would never, they'd never have a very long shelf life unless there was some sort of, uh, I suppose you could call it, philosopher's stone there to to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, it's, and it's an idea that pops up here and there in a lot of works of fiction. And in this particular case, the, uh, the, the philosopher's stone that has allowed Edward Kelly to leave his tank and, and live was in fact Emberton. Yep. yep. Now that yep. The, what what that quite possibly means is that um, like we've never actually met the original Edward Kelly. Uh, the original Edward Kelly that John D knew could very well be old and not even aware that he's being cloned multiple times over and over again. <laughs> it raises a lot of questions, which we will not I mean, get answered. I suppose it's possible. Edward Kelly yeah. himself, uh, himself was uh, was uh, was 
rather a bland dude in in life, yeah. so it's it's difficult to uh, to even even try to use that to postulate. My, mind you, what's he going did he there. did he did convince uh, convince John D that uh, the angel Uriel had told them to share each other's wives. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I but... was looking that up, and I was just like, wow, that's, yeah, that's no, pretty bold. Th this is what I'm talking about about though. This is the dude uh, the dude who who used used all all of his heat to screw another dude's wife, like. <laughs> He decanted yeah. John D's wife. I can't he believe it. He decanted John D's wife, and then shook her up again and decanted her again. Like is he that like? Is that what is that what we just called Dickock Aldry? <laughs> if this is if this is isn't a, a hermetic power in the new uh, in the new Crusader Kings game, <laughs> Crusader Kings Three, I'd be very disappointed. Oh, I should send him a, should, we should send Paradox a message and say, Damn hey, straight. by the way, you should have a thing with the hermetic order where you can convince. Another Stop. person in the Manic Order to let them shank their wife, like... The Divine Spirit says I need to screw your wife! Here we go. Clone Kelly Crusher. <laughs> yeah, alright. That's what you get from busting through him without even taking a hit. Many times I rose again. Yeah, yeah, that, uh... I, I had Not so much already... this time. Yes, the, uh, the Emrita effects on a lot of the, uh... A lot of the folk here uh, had terrible after effects, and they were all quarantined. And John D was like, "Oh, they've got dysentery from uh, from something that was on the ship or whatever." But the truth was, is that they, you know, the the post Emrita high had kicked in, and they were all like dying horribly. Alternate take: dysentery. I barely knew her. All right, it's time. We gotta go up, and we gotta beat John D. John around the face. Dude. We're gonna we gotta punch an old man and flip his dumb spine monster table. Here we go. Yeah, he should be old as shit right now. I'm, one, I'm kind of curious to, uh, to, to see what sort of fight he can put up. I served as I for Queen Elizabeth. Ruler of the Seven Seas. Nothing escapes my sight. The Amrita from Japan has the power to allow anyone to conquer all of Europe. Nay, the entire world. The passing of our beloved queen sadly leaves the fate of the country in our hands. William, join me. Your country needs you. I guess I should have said Beholder instead. What the hell, bro? Yeah, this is why they don't give Beholder's arms and legs. It just looks fucking weird. Hundred eyes. The aspect of the obsession of John D. Given manifest. An ancient and dangerous warlock who is actually really the easiest boss fight in the game. Uh, he is honestly kind of pathetic. <laughs> everything you've everything you've fought before, especially the crazy boss rush that you've already had, is just not nearly as good. His, uh, his attacks are very heavily telegraphed, um, and off he just leaves himself open for long periods of time, which is awfully nice of him. <laughs> the only attack he's hit you with so far is just just sitting back and, and try, uh, trying to put his ass on your face. Yep, he's shielded himself, so the only real way to proceed is to uh, to kill his laser eyes, which, as you can see, is uh, not too difficult, to be honest. I imagine getting hit by those things probably debuffs you with uh, confusion. But I mean, when uh, when they when they gotta get hit when they when they flat when they flash like a freaking strobe light right before the uh, before they shoot like good lord pretty sure the pretty sure like a lot 
a lot of the initial bosses, like, like freaking, um, the vampire lady whose name I'm forgetting right, uh, right now, like, she put on a, w a way better showing than this. I suppose this oh, is well, what this happens is when, uh, when, you try, uh, when you try to give, uh, give old men ultimate power. They just do, okay. Old men running the world. Let's old get him, Sasha. Old men running the world. You're done. Wait. Okay, he yeah, healed a little bit. Yeah, we even blended through his shield. <laughs> Not that it matters. I saw you tried to heal there for a minute. That did not work out for him. <laughs> like, you're just, just, just standing there trying to figure out whether or not to take the medicine. You just gotta dab I'll on the old England, man. protect England, but won't actually protect England. And now you see nothing more. <laughs> So that's it for Neo as it was on release in terms of all of the main missions in the game. There are still a lot of things to do before we move on to the DLC, however. Uh, we've got Weapons Master fights coming up, because uh, I'd finally managed to grind all of that up. And after that, we've got uh, a bunch of, uh, of special fights with lots of different characters and bosses that we've already met in the game. So that's, that's a bunch of stuff to look forward to for next time. Uh, the most important thing that we can take away from this is that uh, William is now free to make choices for himself, and he's choosing to return to come to aid to Hanzo, who, as we mentioned, um, died at uh, Osaka. And yes, that is that is a whole bunch of stuff unlocking. Uh, the Abyss uh, has unlocked, which is something we won't explain for a very long time. A new difficulty level has unlocked. <laughs> we'll get into that like much later as well. Uh, but for now, we've still just got things to do. I really, I really appreciate how, how, how he ends it up by saying the compass no longer points anywhere. I've been Lost Robo Guy. That's been Cool Guy. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>